Hey guys, welcome to ND72's YouTube channel, and this is my CLK55. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Adam with ND72. And we did pick a Dragon winner. The package already sent back out to him. And we'll announce exactly what it is. I already talked to him and all that stuff, but he didn't get back to me if he was cool with me putting his name out there. So, I mean, it is what it is. But if he's cool with it, the next video, I'll throw it out there and tell you what it is. But for today, we got the CLK back in there. So what we're going to do is do a couple things I saw another guy do on one of the forums. And he just ran like a 10-5. Definitely kind of like a different setup than what I have, but we're gonna kind of like do similar stuff. So what he did is he took a CLK 430 brake setup. I think it was 430 and 320 are roughly the same and threw it on his 55. So I have a 430 literally right in my backyard that I'm pulling the brakes off anyways to do a completely different build. So I'm like, who any heck, I got spare parts right there. This thing will cost me nothing except fluid. They have brand new pads, brand new rotors. Throwing it on. So we're gonna do that, drop some LBs, maybe do a couple of little things. I got some parts coming. Hopefully they get here in time. And then we're gonna keep going from there. Hope you enjoy. So this is my CLK 430. So what we're gonna do is take the front brakes off of this and put them on the CLK 55 over there. Where's that? And the benefit out of these, as you can see, the calibers and rotors are smaller, so it's gonna be lighter. And they actually clear 16 inch rims. So it gives me a lot more options for uh, that car for front rims and it'll drop some LBs. And this car, these uh, brakes and everything were getting ripped off anyways and the rotors and pads are effing just brand new. So this one's getting ripped off because I'll show you my other project later on, what this is actually gonna be getting from when this car comes back. So we're gonna start pulling this stuff off and gutting everything. All right, so we got the one off the CLK 55. Yeah, that's dripping, it should drip right in that trash bucket over there. And we got one off of the 430 already. So, Good Here's the comparison of the two. That's the 55 one. That's the 430. Yeah, these are drilled ones. These are aftermarket ones that I bought not too effing long ago and I put it on there. So pads and rotors are new, but just to show you like <laughs> the difference between a 430. See how much more. And that little bit makes it so you can't fit 16 inch rims with the 55. And also like the calibers, you can see there it's a massive size difference. Even though they're both two pistons. This one has so much more surface area and the weight. So we're gonna scale it really quick and see what the difference is. All right, so the 431 is 20 pounds off of the scale. And then this one is, it's a little bit big, so it's harder to get on there. I scoot it. This one is roughly 25 pounds. And you could, you could feel that and that's rotational weight. And then this, let's try to get this caliber. This caliber is roughly 22 pounds. I don't know if you can see from that angle. And then this one is, these are all loaded and everything. It's right around 18, 19 pounds. So with just that one side of rotational weight, we dropped five pounds. And with the caliber, we dropped another, I think it was like three pounds roughly, which off the front end, and where it's at will make a huge effort difference. And it also makes, if I ever want to put the CLK320 lightweight rims on there, I guess throw them in the front still. So which that will make a huge effing amount of difference. So we're also going to pull off. So I've done this on my CLK500 and it didn't make a huge difference in handling. And I saw someone else do it on a 55, remove this sway bar. Since I don't do a, sh uh, a hoot and any, a lot of like, uh, I don't know, like autocross events with this car. I got other cars for that. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna mess up my handling too much and it'll drop even more weight. So we're gonna keep going and bolt these directly right up. All right, rotors and calibers are all in. I don't know if you can see, I'll try to show you, but it's the exact same bolt pattern as the 55, like literally bolts right up, super easy to do. And then the, I think the drilled and, uh, drilled and slaughters are pretty nice. Now I could have also just put drilled and slaughter on these and maybe saved one pound but these rotors are still pretty effing new and same with the pads. So I like this idea. I think overall I saved quite a bit of weight with that, especially rotational. 
Now we're gonna rip the spray bar, uh, sway bar out, then we'll start breeding the brakes. Breeding, bleeding the brakes, my bad. Get all twisted up. So we're gonna start pulling all that up and keep going. All right, I got the sway bar out. Now I was recording a time lapse on it, but it was a lot of throwing and cursing because the people who, the, this guy took his car to before, I guess I had to do some work on this. Clearly they put junkyard calibers on it. <laughs> so this is a little bit of a pet peeve of mine. So for this one, it's the, <clears throat> it should be like two nut bolsters that right there, two there, two there, and two there. First of all, as you can see, all right, two studs there, one's not there. Okay, that happens. What I don't like, especially when people spend F amount of money, because I know the shop this was done at, and it's not effing cheap, get all the same, like, at least size. I should have just had to use five different sizes, a 13, a 10, 11, and a 15, to go back and forth, back and forth, because every time I would go like, oh, this one, poof, I would go over here and be like, well, it's not that, poof, and it wasn't consistent. Literally, you could go to Ace Hardware or something to spend $5 for your customer, and get the appropriate one. Because now if I ever got to put this back in, I'm just going to go to Ace or Home Depot or whatever and get the proper hardware and make it so much easier. Because that, that took me way too long than what it should have just like going back and forth. But no more complaining. We do got it off. And this is the, oh, this thing's pretty heavy. This is the AMG bigger sway bar compared to my 430. So since that 430 is going to start to be drifting a lot of other stuff, a lot more like need sway bar stuff i'm probably going to throw this on there well, i'm going to clean it all up but it's not bad so this one will be stored i might have to get new bushings just because this car has had like 200,000 miles on it but we'll see how much this thing kind of weighs oh definitely you can feel the weight on it all right so we're not going to count the hardware we'll just say that's like a quarter of a pound so right now i am come on stop shaking 190 with this Let's see, put that down. Now I am. One sixty-eight. So quick mass. If, if I was roughly one ninety with it and then one sixty-eight without it, that's what two for seventy. Twenty-two pounds off the front. Roughly I just did, and then just say the hardware another quarter. So basically, yeah, twenty-two pounds right off the nose of this just from that effing sway bar and i've seen other people that i did on my 500 I've done them other cars and you're not caring too much about handling you can remove it and it's not it's not going to mess you too much up because this car is basically just kind of straight line back and forth to work not heavy fast turning or nothing like that so that should be fine oh and also so i know a couple people will say about the brakes so they're like oh you're going to be going faster you go like 160 and blah 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 all the time don't you want a bigger brake to hold you up yeah, okay, so these brakes were rated for this car to do 155 and slow it down. That was when this thing weighed, like, I think 35, 3,600 pounds. Now I dropped a lot of effing weight, so I shouldn't need that much braking. Like with my CLK 430 over there, where it go? Right there. That one weighed in at probably, like, 29 before. So completely fine with these brakes. I'm not even worried about it. And I will keep the old ones just an effing case. I'll keep them around for a little bit, then after a month... I will sell them, so if anyone wants them, hit me up. They got basically brand new pads, brand new rotors, and then I would prefer someone local, so I don't have to ship, but just hit me up on that. But not bad, not bad so far, pretty happy. Pretty, pretty, pretty happy. And I think it looks a little bit cooler. We'll throw some, we'll bleed everything out and keep going. So I'm gonna start bleeding it. What I got is just from Amazon. I had a power bleeder before, a really nice one, but I effing left someone borrow and I still haven't got it effing back, so I just, Went and bought another one. This is one of the more inexpensive ones, but it was still like 45 effing bucks. But uh, it comes with a little European quick disconnect cap. See right there? So let's see if it fits right on. And then we'll fill it up and start pumping away. This will help out. So I already tested the brakes. They're not even that effing bad, even though I cracked the system. But we won't know until I fully drive it. But the pedal, what, pedal is pretty firm in the beginning. So it's not too bad right now. So hopefully this will make it a lot better. So like I said, the kit came with a little European one that fits right on. So it's got a gasket. You got to make sure you put in there and then just thread it right on. It comes with a tool to actually tighten this way down, but I really don't think it's gonna be that much pressure to do that, but I'll keep my eye on it. As you see, I still didn't even like drop like any, not that much fluid from doing the calibers. I was pretty quick with it, but I definitely probably got air in the system. So, oh, goes right on. Now let me just get my 
fluid. So the fluid I picked, I saw a couple people use this stuff before. So super DOT, because I think you're supposed to use like DOT plus. And this is supposed to be pretty good. So we're gonna start pumping it all in, crack the bleeder screws and see what happens. Five hours later. See, not too bad. They don't look too small or too weird. I think the crosshair looks pretty cool. Well, nah, hold on a minute. All this mud is making it look bad. So let's clean it off like, ah, oh, bam, all nice and clean. Well, cleaner-ish. <laughs> so, not bad, not bad. As you can see, I got like oodles of room before you couldn't even get your finger in there. So these are definitely gonna be a lot better for uh, 16s if I decide to do 16s up front or anything. Not bad, not bad. We'll go spray the car down a little bit more, clean it up. Clean all that effing mud up. Go take it for a test drive. All right, so this is the first drive with the, the brakes and all that stuff and the pedal. Pedal's actually effing pretty good. Let me see if I get a video of that. So it's not like, dude, that's like me pushing. You know what I mean? It doesn't go to the floor. It doesn't go to the floor. It's not spongy. So that little brake bleeder, like, it works pretty effing easy in first. Or if you got no one else to really help, or even if you do, geez, that, that works pretty well. We're gonna go head over to Mexico and do a quick little pull to see how these break at high speeds after I drive it around for like, I'm gonna go for like a 15 minute just drive around the block, hopefully no effing rain. But it is Florida, so we'll never really know. Got my ND72 shirt on, got my uh, draggy in the car. Where is it? Right, yeah. Let's go do some pulls. Now we're gonna see if I can do a nice little 20 pull if I got enough room for that. Try to do like two things at once. So at this point we have a few pulls all already done and they were all basically kind of the same. We were spinning a little bit with the heat. The best I was able to get was a 12.8. They were all basically 12.8, 12.81, pretty consistent because I was spinning and then I had to keep working into it. Uh, I think my 60 foot was a 2.07 on this one. So not bad, not bad. Definitely got to get that spinning fixed. So brakes doing good. I just went up to about like 130 before. I just showed you a nice little 20 pull. I think we went to 80 and the brakes like, you don't even notice like a, a difference with braking power, but I could definitely feel a lot more F and weight transfer. As you saw, even with that 20 pull, with I've been driving the car around for about 25 minutes. My air intake temperatures are pretty effing high right now. And I did four or five pulls with the tires, and I'm spinning still. So I definitely gotta get that suspension worked out. I ordered a few suspension parts that you guys will see in the upcoding video. So I'm gonna try to model it a little bit like the 430, how I built that suspension, and try to get that weight to transfer all the way back. But not bad, not bad. I'm actually on the way home right now. Uh, I got more parts that should be arrived right now, so I'm going to try to throw them on the car and put them in this video too. So we're going to try to get home before the before the weather. <laughs> Alright, so the other part just came that I was talking about. I got a inline fuel <clears throat> pressure gauge and it came, I got a nice little fitting. Came from a company of like LSD, just ordered them off Amazon, ah, that way. So, looks kind of cool. Well, I got my little tool, my stuff on tape, we'll go throw it right under the hood there real quick. Got the teeny Schrader valve out. Now I'm gonna tip on tape all this stuff up. Go grab my wrench. Oh, the potato is hot. I just got done doing all those runs. I'm gonna go get this gas off my hand too. So got it all in. Yeah, the gas kind of ate away at my valve cover paint. So I'm gonna have to cover this up and respray it eventually, but it's pretty tight. I'm gonna go fire it up now and see if it leaks. I'm gonna first pull all this rigmarole off the motor. All right, got it in there running and it's popping. Like under 50 psi at idle. We're getting a little bit of RPM. Then it drops down, so I'll do a little research. And so far not leaking, but we'll see. I'll let it go for a little bit. So, right before you guys go, I was worried about that uh, fuel issue. So everywhere I looked, they said it should be about 55, 60 psi, and I was at 45 and lower at the rail when I just crank it. So I just, the car is 200,000 miles. So I just like, let me go get a fuel filter. I've seen this work on one of my other cars before. So nice new filter. There's that old one and it was effy, it was heavy. So I had a lot of debris in it. And now let's go look at the rail. Ah! Ow. 
We are now at da -da -da. That's like 55, so I just gained 10. Let's see where they kind of rev it up a little bit. So I literally just drained 10 PSI of fuel just from that. And I've also, I think I still might have a little bit of issue, maybe hopefully not a leaky injector, because what it was doing is when I killed it, the pressure would slowly start dropping. Man, I got a mark on my head. <laughs> so we're going to kill it and then go test drive and see if it's getting got any, any fast or anything. All right. So we got the winner of the Draggies uh, package right here. Don't mind the box, all that stuff we put in the garage. And now I'm going to take it a good ride for... Uh, now within here on my way to FedEx and all that stuff, I'm gonna take uh, this guy's draggy and go take it for a nice little ride in about 160. A little novelty. All right, here we go. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. We got a couple more things in the works with the CLK and then I have a couple other projects like the 430 that's coming back and uh, I bought a couple things for the ML and for the SLK. The ML one's gonna be pretty cool. I think you guys will like it. We're gonna take that on a couple trails and do a few things like that. But don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, guys. Throw a comment on there. Uh, follow me on Instagram at BuffyCLK500. Have a great day. Baby. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up. Wake up.